Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. Okay guys, so now let's install Flutter on Windows. Now this process is a bit lengthy, so I would suggest you guys to make sure that you have a good internet connection. We will be downloading Git, Android Studio, Flutter and Visual Studio code. So let's quickly see how that process begins. So this is the official website for Flutter. You can explore this website and you will basically be able to see what all projects were built in Flutter. Right now we want to install Git. So go to this website git slash scm.com and you can directly write git also on Google. So what is git? Git basically helps you collaborate with other developers on a project. Okay. So right now we want to download this git and you don't need to have an in-depth knowledge of git for Flutter. So right now you have to click on windows and then go to 64 bit for windows setup and you can just click there and it will download git for you. Now we also want to install Android Studio in order to use emulators. So download Android Studio and you have to accept all these terms and then download. Okay. So let it download and now that you can see that Git is downloaded. So let's install Git. Uh, now in the Git installation, you only have to click next, 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 next all the time. Next next click next all the time keep clicking next next again next 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 okay so everything is fine here and now we will be installing it okay Okay, now let's untick that and finish. Now what we want to do is open command prompt and just write git. If this comes, this means that git has successfully installed. Now write git version. Okay, so now what we want to do is install flutter. So you can go to this website, you can just write flutter installation on Google and this website will come on top only. So click on windows and down there, these are the PC requirements that you need to have. And then down here, you can either download a zip file or you can just copy this line. Okay. Let's copy it. Open your PC and make a folder in the C drive by the name SRC make a folder src now you can open your command prompt and you can write cd dot dot now cd dot dot basically lets you go to the previous file okay in the folder you can see that the folders are changing every time and now you want to change it to the src folder so write cd src and now we will paste that line that we copied so the moment you paste the line, it will automatically clone Flutter. So this is how you download Flutter. Okay. You download it through command prompt. Now let's wait while Flutter is being downloaded. Okay. Now what we want to do is install Android Studio. Open Android Studio installer. And you can see that Flutter is still downloading. It might take a while. It honestly depends on your internet connection. So make sure that you have a good internet connection. If you want to download Flutter, Android Studio or any other software that we will be downloading in this course. Okay, let's wait. So as I told you, this is a bit lengthy process. So try to catch up. <laughs> All right. Now let's wait for Android Studio and you can see that Android Studio installer has opened and you can also see that Flutter is now downloaded in the SRC folder. Now you can also check your Flutter version here. And you can see that 
right now it's not recognizing my flutter version this is because we need to add flutter to path okay so basically go in the flutter folder and copy the address of this bin folder okay so let's go on the bin folder now right here in the search right edit environment variables and you can click on the first link and in the environment variables click on path okay in the first column only and here click on new to add a new path and this is basically adding the path okay so press ok and now press ok again now ok okay so next 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 and install so let's wait for it to install android studio okay so you can see that now right now when we ran the flutter doctor command all these different packages are being installed so flutter doctor command basically tells you that if there is any problem within your flutter so you can see that multiple red crosses and problems appeared this is because we haven't installed our emulator android studio or anything okay so this might come for you as well so right now don't worry about these and you can see that android studio is installed okay so finish android studio okay now let's do next and android studio will open let's wait for android studio to open So let's go next, next, and you need to agree to all these terms. Press accept. Okay, so you have to then click on this and accept these terms as well. And finally, this one. Press accept. If you want to read, you can read as well. Okay, now our Android Studio is also completely installed. Now let's open it up. So let's create our virtual device. Okay, let's create. And I usually use Pixel 4 because it's a big enough screen for me. So let's click next. And you need to download an Android version first. So I will be downloading this version. Download and let's wait for it to download. Okay, now our Android version is also installed. Let's click on finish. Select the Android version that you downloaded and click next. Next and finish. Okay. And it will take a while. And your Android emulator is now developed. Now we also have to install a plugin for Flutter, so go on plugin and write here Flutter. So the moment you write F, you will see that Flutter appears. You can install it. Honestly, this is not a compulsion to install this plugin. We will be anyways using Visual Studio Code to write our code and we won't be using Android Studio. So you can write if you want and it's not necessary. Okay. Now you want to restart your ID. ID is basically where you will be writing the code okay and let's wait for it to restart by the way android studio is better for beginners but visual studio code is much faster so that's why i use visual studio code okay and now you can see that by default a flutter new project option appears and now guys one last thing that we have to install is visual studio code now make sure that you are not installing visual studio but visual studio code yes they both are different now click on download for windows this is the software where we will be writing our code okay and this is the best software to write code okay. so let's download it and the moment you click download you will see that an option for downloading the installer appears now let it download it's also a smaller setup compared to android studio but you cannot uninstall android studio because you have to use the emulators right in order to run your programs for flutter so we will be using visual studio code just click on the installer Let's accept the agreement. Next. 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 And okay. So let's select this one. And next. And install. Okay. So with this guys, we have installed all of our different IDs and softwares that we needed. 
one last thing i know that it's been already so many things that we had to download and it's already looking like a regret <laughs> i know guys but flutter is honestly a really powerful tool and you should definitely consider installing all these that i showed you in this video okay so there is one last thing that you need to install which is a plugin for flutter for visual studio so first open visual studio and the moment you install visual studio opens usually itself okay and let's wait for it to open so you can choose whichever theme you want to use you will be mostly using a dark theme and dark theme is the best if you like light theme then you are a maniac sorry to break it to you <laughs> i'm kidding okay so select the dark theme and the dark theme is already selected now the extension the plugin that you have to install go to this and just write here flutter and you can click on flutter and install you can see that the blue tick is appearing this means that it's verified and let's click on install this will also install dart for you you so you don't have to separately install dart just let's look at it so you can search for dart and you can see that it's already installing dart as well so that's a great thing and next and and after you install dart and flutter everything is now done okay now your entire installation process is complete finally now all you want to do is just start building projects now you can also download other extensions from here and if you want to by chance use python or any other language then you can use that in visual studio code only if you are a programmer already then you will know about visual studio code and if you are new to programming then i would highly suggest you to use this you can also use android studio there isn't much difference but try using visual studio code so one last thing that i like to install within i know i know guys so one last thing that i like to install is this github theme and which gives visual studio code a better look so here i want to select the the moment i install it this option appears okay i can also get this option by control shift p and writing theme so i will select the dark theme and you can see that it's already looking way better so with this guys our installation is finally complete so now let's start programming in dart let's go if you are looking for teaching stuff education stuff programming series application and android development coding skills marketing skills presentation skills stay connected by subscribing thank you for calling eduvo